gorgeous morning this morning. We're in Townsville and we're about to go and do a little bit of boating. Maybe try a bit of fishing, go over to Florence Bay or something on Magnetic Island. We'll see where the day takes us. the pile on they were pretty busy this morning in fact there were no parks left in the car park at the boat ramp so we had to park on the grass somewhere and hopefully council won't take offense to that this is Florence Bay beautiful part of Magnetic Island over the other side there is a marine protection area where you're not allowed to anchor some weed beds there where you can go snorkeling and all right got me bottle of bubbles and how nice is it behind so yeah let's um get this cranked and go for a little bit explore the island well not the island the bay cheers wow that's a bit sweet for my life it's 23 degrees right now but it got down to about nine <laughs> degrees this morning Crikey, that was a little bit cold. Alright, let's go and get some more of that. This part of the water is actually a lot warmer. Sit down in the shallows and have a drink. Oh, oh shit, actually. I didn't like that. It's still cold. Sit down this part of the shallows, maybe? Oh! Oh, the little waves are coming in. <sighs> it's freezing though. Ah, <laughs> oh, the serenity. <laughs> it's quite a nice day. There's quite a few boats here. Families having a play. Little kids playing on the sand. Got a little fishy down there. A little garfish. I don't know if you can see it. We haven't got an anchor at the moment. Or not using an anchor at the moment, I should say. We've got... What's that thing called? A little that thing trolley motor. a what motor? motor okay so we have a little trolley motor and it's got a little GPS coordinate and it's just keeping the boat in place pretty spoiled up here aren't we oh look there's a little black tip reef shark I don't know if you can see it I'm gonna pick up this pilly and see if we can find that little reef shark and feed it. Come on. It's just a baby, so we're not doing anything too silly. I bet you it hides in amongst the weeds over there. It's so cold this morning. We're very organized. We didn't bring our drone and we didn't bring our GoPro. There's a nice eagle. Oh, just swam. It just swam. It just flew out of shot. But sometimes if we throw up a pilly high enough for it. Oh, what do we got coming over here? There we go. I'm just dangling the pilly. See if it comes over. See if it recognises it. And there's some cockies. They're having a bit of a douche. The uh, eagles about 10 minutes ago. So looks like they got reinforcements and they're coming back. I think the eagles gone to sort out business with these cockatoos. Already. Here you go, you, you organise it and I'll check another one to it. Okay. Ready? I can't see shit. He's got it though. <laughs> I've been hanging out here for probably nearly two hours now. It's just so nice. It was so nice as long as it doesn't go past my hips. So <laughs> when it sneaks past my hips to my waist or high it's like oh, that's so cold. Belly's getting cold. Whoa! If you live around North Queensland and you've got amazing islands and reefs 
nearby. Do what you can to get yourself onto a boat, friend's boat, get your own boat. Because when the weather's magic, there is nowhere prettier on this place. It's unreal. Rough. down it was a really busy ramp this morning so I had to park somewhere crazy like on the grass and I didn't want to try and do that because let's just say over the years I really do not have a great record with um, with trailers this is the way I, Lee taught me back in the 90s so it's a long time ago now this is the way he taught me how to drive a trailer he said all right, I'm going to put the boat in the water. Can you go and park the trailer? And I'm like, I don't know how to park a trailer. And he's like, yeah, just drive and the trailer will follow you wherever you drive. And we were in Ellie Beach at the time at Shoot Harbour. Like, those of you that know Shoot Harbour have been there back in the heydays, back in the 90s. Um, you'd... Oh, shit, he's got his boat in the, in the water already. Yeah, so anyway... Back then there was a shell, I don't know if it's still there now, and he said, yeah, just drive the trailer and wherever you go, the boat will go and follow you. So I needed to turn around, so I thought I'll just go through the shell service station and, and turn around, I'll just drive through. Anyway, so I drive through and all of a sudden there's this massive bang! What the hell was that noise? And what it was, because I didn't know any different, I turned I turned sharp to go through like you would on a car. Um, but, because the trailer, because the trailer was following me, it cut shorter than, than you do for the, for, for the corners. Anyway, let's hope I don't fuck this up while I'm talking to you and I'll just edit it out the mirror. Yeah, so anyway, luckily for me, there were bollards in front of the petrol bowsers or else I would have taken out the petrol station. Lee's just helping out a jet ski out with his jet ski getting it on the on the um, his trailer. So this is not seat in front of our trailer. And I'm not that confident at what I'm doing. I'm just gonna reverse a bit and just wait it out until he's back. I don't know what happened there. Maybe the battery went flat, but it just stopped recording. But I got the boat on, all good. On our way up the ramp. See you next time. Cheers.